What's going on everyone, it's Travis from Next Gen Update. I know it's been a little while since I've done a video. This one's gonna show you two newer glitches on Nuketown. One's gonna be a corner wall breach. You need to come over to this side of the building. You need to jump up at the corner, not under the ledge as I did there. You need to jump at the corner so you're facing it. And then if you do it correctly, you'll climb through. This one isn't easy to do. Once you're inside of here though, you just need to jump up in the air, press pause, and you'll be unstuck and able to walk around the entire side of this building. This corner wall breach is tougher than most just because that corner is a little bit awkward. You need to start back and then jump forward a little bit. So that makes it tougher and then you need to make sure you're high enough to not be under that ledge because you really need to climb through at that corner. That's where the spot's at. It's all about finding exactly where you need to climb through. But once you're in there, you're good to go. You can't be killed and I don't think you can shoot out either, but you can't get out either. Great spot, another wall breach on Nuketown. This is starting to add up on this small map. Compared to Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 uh, at least, you had the Dart one from the early patches, you had the backwards mantle, a couple care packages, and now this one. So I'm quite impressive from the glitching community. The second one is getting outside the map. You see to come to this area and it's where this little crease is on the pillar. You run around the side and sit right here and that's where you need to stay. You can't move at all. It's much easier if you have a running jump and then you have a lot more time on the clock to get there. So just position yourself in the right spot and you're good to go. Well, I wanted to explain a little bit of a short story at the end of this video explaining why I haven't been making any videos lately. So I know I haven't been making content for all that long to begin with on Next Gen Source. We're going to be now called Next Gen Update. I just changed the name on the Google Plus page, which is pretty cool. So I used to have a channel called Exo Outsider in which I ran. It had maybe 150,000 subscribers, but more, more or less, it was my profile online. Operating as the Next Gen Update channel, it, it's great and all, you know, I can promote our website and everything, but it's not exactly the same as having your own profile and being able to build. So I tried getting my old profile, Exo Outsider, back. I got an email three months ago saying I, the copyright thing was released from some UMG music, something random. So I was like, oh wow, this is still around. I put a lot of effort into trying to contact them, fax, everything like that. I never could get a human response. I was always getting bots. So it was just really depressing after getting so many emails with failed attempts and I know that this account shouldn't be suspended so I don't really know why it is still suspended. Anyways, I just kind of was a little bit depressed about the whole situation so I took a break. Hopefully I'm going to get back into it although there aren't too many games coming out. It would be perfect to have the channel back when Infinity Warfare comes out as COD4 was really where I really made a name for myself along with World at War, Halo 3, Rainbow Six Vegas. We did a lot of stuff way back when, so it was really a gut punch, and I hope to be making more content on this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video especially. That first glitch was found by Hockey Rock 24 another great Nuketown wall breach. Sorry for this little short rant at the end of this video. Hopefully I got more news from YouTube, but I'm really not counting on it. So look forward to all my content on here, and I'll see you guys on my next video.